Thanks, guys. All right, so that is Stick the end around. of the actual episode. Stick around. We're going to do our Q&A now. Uh, now I have to take a pee break, although I'm worried what you will do. Well, now the episode is over. The other stuff might actually be in the episode. Oh, we don't want to record this? Oh, we don't record it. Yeah. Do we, want to, we don't want to start. Do we want to start a new... I guess we, should, we have to start a new video. That's going to be annoying to you guys. No, uh, we don't have to start No, we video. do, because uh, we're going to save this up when... We're going to put oh, this up I, on YouTube. Well, we can, we can cut it later. I... I I can do it. I've done it before. All right. You have video editing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's, it's not that hard. This is the... My computer just can't take it anymore. It's too old. This I is the uh, uh, Q&A, uh, Jack and Dan, Q&A, whatever. Special bonus Q&A. I don't I know. I can't think of a wee pun that works with it. Those are like the two... Q and wee? The two letter know. syllables that don't rhyme with wee. Yeah. You know, I tried to work in as many characters as I could in the last episode. Yeah, I noticed. I wasn't happy about that. <laughs> I noticed you weren't happy about it. I'm gonna go pee. There were some older characters who made appearances. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions for me while Jack is urinating. We'll do this for like I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I gotta go home to my wife. How do I stay so beautiful? Uh, I'm just naturally it's genetics. I just have good genes. Favorite celebrity appearance on The Simpsons? That's a good question. Um, I'm partial to Albert Brooks always. I think Albert Brooks is really funny in general, and the by and large, all of his episodes are really funny all of his characters Hank Scorpio obviously is great um there's even an episode where Bart goes to fat camp and I really like that one I hope to do that when we come back in the fall why didn't I like the lobster I did you see it I don't it was just like uh it just was so it felt so long and it was just like deadpan to the point of dead I just I don't know I wasn't a fan of it you guys, you're asking great questions that Jack should also probably answer, so maybe maybe we'll hold off. Least favorite classic era episode and why? The Sherry Bobbins episode is not a favorite of mine. Um, I guess because it's mostly musical numbers. Even though the musical numbers are not so bad, it just seems like a very... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, would we ever bring on a guest who's never seen The Simpsons? Yes! At some point, um, my wife will probably be on. Actually, she has seen The Simpsons. Uh, but she she may be a guest, and she's not at all a Simpsons fan. Um, so that'll be interesting. We're doing a lot more Q&A than I thought we would without Jack. <laughs> uh, I saw something about my hair. How do I do that? I don't know. I just I haven't gotten a haircut in, like, since February, I don't think. You love the Sherry Bobbins one? I mean, it's not a bad episode. There's actually a lot of really funny parts to it. It's just... You know, it's better than most of these post-classic episodes, but just, it's not an episode that I'm ever going to sit down and be like, we should watch that one. That's the one I want to watch. <laughs> Yay for Jangle. Yeah. <sighs> they've been asking surprisingly good questions while you were away. Oh, we don't have to start the Q&A yet. No, That's they've been saying it. No, too late. It's happening. We're starting it now. I have my lucky... I see, ready, I, I, my lucky return to a box. Someone just said least favorite Simpsons character, so let's do that one first. Okay. What do you think? I've been asked, I've been talking while you were gone. Well, we should do like an introduction for because I mean, we're gonna release this as an audio as well. I'm assuming. Oh, I didn't think we were. Oh, I figured we should because we, the whole point is we, we don't content. want our feed to stay. Uh, we don't want our iTunes feed to stay sparse. Oh, I thought this was just for the Periscope. Yeah, let's, let's 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 turn some some of it into an MP3. All right. All right. Uh, I'll start. I guess. Just bang it out. Uh, Wait, are we doing an intro? We, oh, we should, I'll, I'll, uh, you do the intro. Hey everybody! Wait, let me, you were breathing. Hey everybody, this is Worst Episode Ever, a bonus episode, a Q&A that we did after our uh, series, last podcast. Summer, series finale. Summer finale. Our summer finale, we episode Season number 85. Finale. I don't know when we're releasing this, but... My uh, name is Jack. My name is Dan. If you This is not a good first episode no, to listen to. No, do not start with this So if, you, if you're like, this podcast, um, don't, don't listen to this one. We listen to a different one. Yeah. Anyway... They're all good. We miss you guys. Uh, we'll be, I probably don't. Yeah. I'm in Japan right now. We'll probably. be back eventually. I'm going to Japan this summer. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> I think they care. Give me those hearts, guys. <laughs> all right, so our first question that just came up here. Uh, favorite Simpsons video game? What do you got? Favorite Simpsons video game? Um, let's see. I definitely play the NES. I would play the uh, Bart vs. the World. Uh, the Xbox 360 generic, like a, the, the CD Simpsons game. Simpsons game. Yeah. Uh, it was boring, but it had a lot of elements I really liked. I loved comic book guy commenting on the. You'd be like, oh yes, the double jump. Yes, right, right, right. Uh, the red all barrel. The ropes. Yeah, the red barrel. I don't um, even remember if I beat that game. I think I only played it a little bit, but yeah. I don't. I can't remember a Simpsons game I really like. I never, Simpsons arcade game, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I was yeah, just yeah, playing it a couple yeah. of weeks ago. I didn't think about that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Simpsons arcade game. Um. Somebody says, when are you doing the Babe 2 sync points? That's uh, a good question, well, Jack. First, by the hit and run. Um, 
I do know that that's supposed to be a very good game. I've never that was the generation I didn't have. I never played PlayStation. I I, I played Hit and Run. It was basically like a Grand Theft Auto in Springfield type situation. Um, it was pretty good. There was also what was the uh, Simpsons Road Rage? It was just a crazy taxi clone. Okay. That was a weird one. Uh, what was the what was that one? The other question. Uh, it was when is the Babe Two Sync Points coming out? I don't think they're streaming it. We have to pick things that are easy for people to watch. Yeah, the first four ones we did, Batman was streaming on Netflix, so that's kind of why we did that one. And then we did Superman because we were doing the whole Batman Superman, Superman thing. And HBO were, uh, Superman and Home Alone 2 were both HBO Go streaming, which right. not I, everybody has. I do not remember why we did a Home Alone 2 sync points. Because it was Christmas. There's a lot of Christmas movies. Yeah. I, just, I, I don't. I think there I was, wanted to do Home Alone three because that's the post classic Home. I think uh, there was post classic Home Alone. Right. I guess I don't know. Yeah, but the next one we do, no matter what it is, whether it be RoboCop three or Babe two or some other sequel, we will uh, pick something that's There's on Netflix. There's so many we could do. All right. Least favorite. Uh, we were talking. At least somebody just asked me what my least favorite classic. Yeah, I, I, I already said what it was. Well, I don't know if we're going to re-edit it yeah. somehow. Well, let's just. Well, let's just. I'll, say, I'll say it again. It was uh, the Sherry Bobbins episode. I'm not a big fan of. Right. right. It's not a terribly you unfunny episode. You say that's episode. your least favorite classic episode over the clip shows? No, I don't really even count the clip shows. You gotta count the clip shows. You know what's? Uh, you know what season uh, post uh, season eight episode uh, gets a lot of flack for being like, oh, they've jumped a the shark. Yeah. Is the Simpsons spinoff showcase? And yeah, I, people don't I like that really one. I really like that episode. I like that one, too. I don't have a least favorite. I, I really dig all the first eight seasons. Um, I always... I, I'm, I'm This is not the case anymore, but I used to always get disappointed with the uh, secrets of a successful marriage, whenever that would come What? On. When that would come on in syndication, I was like, this one's boring. That is a great episode, I know friend. it is. I know it is, but I guess it was just not... It was too low concept for me. It's like, uh, uh, you know, it was very about, pretty much about their marriage, and I guess it's like, what? Homer's not going to space. Homer's not becoming a big fat guy. Right. And I always was just like, this episode's boring. So This is me as like a preteen, early teenager watching in syndication. So are you saying that... Uh, oh, that's a good question. We'll come back to that one. Are you saying that that's your least favorite classic era episode? The Secrets of it Successful was. Marriage? I would say, I, again, I don't think I have a least favorite now. I literally love every single episode from the first eight seasons. All right. Um, sorry, Jack just had a thing come up. Uh, so we just had a question that was, if we met Matt Groening, what is the first thing you would say to him? I would probably say hello. I thought it was the first question we'd ask him. Oh, I would say hello? <laughs> Greet would say hello, because <laughs> he likes the Greet. I'm assuming everyone loved Greet. I would say, I'm a huge fan of your work. I love The Simpsons. Would you like to be on our podcast? That's a great question. We'll come back to that one. Yeah. Um, I would, say would, you, would, would you really ask him to be on the podcast? Yeah, I would not. I would, yeah, of course I would. I you would, wouldn't? You I'd, wouldn't bring it up? No. Why would because you, why, why wouldn't you bring it up? The I would bring up trivia probably over the podcast. Well, I have but, the, yeah, you do have but, the trivia. You know, I don't have the trivia. I think um, I have the podcast. I think the podcast is too negative sounding. Like oh, you have it's an negative sounding. But that's why I would be really glad to actually talk to him one on one and not have it be told to him in a tweet like somebody did to Al Jean. I right. would actually be like, hey, this is a thing we do. It's a, from a place of love where I'm actually one of the biggest Simpsons fans ever. Yeah. And uh, if you listen to the show, you'd see that we we give everybody a fair shot and we don't really take it all that serious. And uh, you know, it, I, it yeah. really is. There's a reason our tagline is. Uh, by people uh, who love The Simpsons, for people who love The Simpsons, about it. It's, it's, you know, yeah. a reason, those words are there for a reason. It's, and I'm guessing he doesn't have all that much input in the new episodes. Yeah, I don't, that's like, why I would He's collecting him. a ton of money. I think it would be a much less awkward question to Matt Groening than it would be to Al Jean or somebody working on the show now. I guess. I don't really know what my question to him would be. I mean, like, Matt Groening... You better ask him to be on the fucking show. If you get stuck in an elevator with him, I would kill you if you didn't ask him to be on the show. Matt Groening seems like he's a really great guy, and um, he was, like, an indie cartoonist in he the 80s. He was hysterical in Portlandia. I didn't see that one. Oh, uh, yeah, you should see it. I gotta see that. Um, he's from I, Portland. I, I feel like I, I know he's from Portland. I mean, a lot of the, the uh, street names in Portland are Simpsons characters. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what... I would just tell him I'm a big fan. I guess I would ask him to be on the podcast. Real quick, uh, somebody asked us when we're coming to Ireland. I don't know. I actually was accepted into the NYU music video program uh, studying abroad in Ireland in 2004. Really? Um, but my roommate, uh, was uh, there was a documentary program in Ireland that didn't have enough people sign up for it, so that got canceled. And because he wasn't going, I got scared. I didn't want to go by myself, even though 
I later found out a lot of people I didn't know was in the program. Yeah. Uh, and I was also had never left New York and still would have yet to ever leave New York. Uh, so I just like got real, uh, I got cold feet and I didn't go to Ireland. And I, I regret it so much to this day that I could have lived there for a semester. Basically, I would have worked with local Dublin bands yeah. uh, and picked one and made a music video for them. I, I I also thought going abroad was stupid. I was like, ah, if I want to travel abroad, like I'll just go on vacation abroad. Yeah. Not really realizing that a it's completely different to live in a place, and b it's like much cheaper and easier to do it when you're a college yeah. student. No, I really so I kind of regret that. But also, everyone who did study abroad came back and was really douchey. About yeah, it. Really, I noticed that too. Uh, not so much the Dublin, but Prague was a big one, and everybody came back from Prague really douchey. Yeah. Um, and, but, it's a European thing. And I would have formed tighter bonds with the the, the small group in Dublin, mm -hmm. but. I did become very close that semester with my New York friends, and there you go. maybe that wouldn't have happened. So. Yeah, that was another thing. I didn't want to like not see my friends that I had yeah. kind of just made in the past two years. Exactly. But uh, but speaking of Ireland, I do want to visit Ireland one day just for fun. Um, I have extended family in Ireland that live in Dublin. There you go. Um, somebody asked your least favorite Simpsons character. My least favorite Simpsons character. Uh, is this is this all time character? I don't know. Is somebody asking that? Yeah, somebody. The I think so. My my least favorite character would be someone like the Grumble or something. Like <laughs> that's just stupid. I just ugh. we we watched the first episode he was in. If we're talking post classic, God, I don't know. Um, Maybe the, the Bombardment guy. I'm gonna say Bombardment guy. Good choices both. I think. Uh, so don't don't bring up Bombardment again. House house. Um, uh, somebody asked your favorite episode of We. That's tough. I had one in my head, like for the I, that would change for like the first twenty twenty five episodes. Yeah. But now there's just been so many, and I haven't re listened to a single one in. I haven't listened to. I used I, to, the first first couple months. I would listen to the Wii's to see if they came out all right in the final cut. Well, but you edit them, so yeah. it's different. So but I would listen to. to the, I would listen to them when they released on my podcast feed just to right. see how everything turned out, mixed and everything. Yeah. And I haven't been able to do that for. Several months. I, I haven't listened to an actual Wii since I, I don't know when. I listen to every episode because I it's the second we're done recording, I forget everything we talked about. Uh, me too, yeah. And I like to know, uh, I, so I always, I always listen to it Thursday mornings when it comes out because I want to be prepared for when you guys tweet or, or Reddit comments. i got to remember what we said and like yeah. what I was thinking no, when I said sense. things. But as far as a favorite episode, um, God, we've had some good ones. Yeah, I like the live ones. Uh, but the ones we periscope, like the Drunken New Year's and the St. Patrick's Day. I think Drunken New Year's 2 might have been my favorite one. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a, there's a few. I, I feel like... Because that was... Jeff was on with that, right? It's it's fun when we have, like... Yeah. I loved our original Dalek one, because uh, that was our wacky episode, but now it's become yeah, so it's, tame. Yeah, it's probably tame compared to the Which is probably tame a good thing. Yeah, we've gotten a little carried away. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't know about that. Trying to think of a guest that we worked well, really, well, like, really, really well. So uh, not, not, I, I'm, I'm not going to pick a favorite guest. I'm not going to pick a favorite. I'll wee pick guest. a favorite wee guest. It's Jack. Oh, thank you. I'm not a guest. I'm the I'm the, the the host. Yeah, I am the host of the show. That's why I let you. I am a co-host. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh, I no, I'm not going to pick a favorite wee guest. Uh, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a feeling one of my favorite wee episode would be one of our solo ones, one, ones that don't have a guest. I think you well, you might be right on that because I think. Some of our, I forget, like, specific episodes, what they were. Ones where we are recording at night during a weeknight, which we don't usually do. Obviously, we usually record on Sundays, uh, like we're doing right now. Um, when we do it during the week and we're both exhausted from being at work, and we always say we're going to do a really quick one, and they yeah, never turn out quick because we fucking lose our minds and we're just, like, so pent up from work anger during the midweek. And we just get super zany. It's where a lot of like really weird things. It's probably where Hemus and came from. Although some of the Sunday ones, uh, I'm pretty sure Hemus and, and DiCaprio. Maybe not Hemus. DiCaprio definitely was a Sunday afternoon episode. Yeah. Um. Do, do you have a specific one you can think of? Specific what episode? Favorite, favorite we episode? Uh, we after dark sticks out. I think that one was really fun. It does stick out. Uh, you know what? I might go just for a, a token placeholder because I don't really think I have a real favorite. Yeah. I, even I said our solo shows. I think it might have been our episode that's our current least worst episode ever, the Halloween of Horror. Uh, we did that with Jeff, who's uh, yes. you know, one of my best best friends in the world. Yeah. And I really like that. We, he's a very shy guy. I like that we uh, sang him Happy Birthday and brought out a cake in the middle <laughs> of the podcast. Uh, and I don't think it warmed his heart. I think he hated it just as much as we thought Probably. he would. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it warmed my heart. Uh, so I like that. I like what Niall on uh, on the Periscope just said. He said, at the risk of sounding like a douche, he's re-listened re to all of them and they're all superb. So, so thank douche. you. I really appreciate what that. What a douche. <laughs> douche. I don't think you're a douche. Douche. 
No, uh, Yoosh? No, that's very kind. I, I, again, you, the, you guys, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, that's a good question for Jack. If, if you had to slash got to kill one Wii character, which one would it be? Which one would it be? There's a few that I purposely don't like to bring up because I think you forgot about them. Oh, I, please bring them up. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I don't want to do that because then they'll come back and they'll, they'll end up just staying a thing. I mean, I guess Freet's the obvious. I, I, li- I like that we've made Freet, uh, we've given Freet a character. I, I hate <laughs> I, I hate characters that where you would just come in and be like, hey, did you call for me? Yes. Right? And that's pointless. Well, uh, and like that's why the Dan and Dala kind of this went it kind of and that was out, yeah. whole shtick, and I hated that. And like Freet's thing has become like my hatred for Freet has kind of that's been become the like the Freet thing. And at least yeah, he yeah. has a story. Hemus still doesn't have a story. I'm gonna kill Hemus. Yeah, I'm I gonna mean, kill Hemus. or maybe your my, your impression of my dad. I've gotten sick of. <laughs> I, I, well, I can, I can dad, stop doing that one. My dad and my mom collectively. It was yeah yeah yeah, but then it just became hey chicky boy. By the way, guys, Dan's mother asked him the other day why we call her <laughs> Mefri on the podcast. No, it was my cousin emailed me and said, "Why do you call your mom Mefri on the podcast?" And I had I didn't remember, and I was at work, so I wasn't like in a rush to email my cousin back. And then like twenty minutes later, my mom emails me and says, "Why do you call me Mefri on the podcast?" My cousin was just asking her, and I I told her I honestly do not remember. I, I hope my mom doesn't listen to this. Especially, I said some things I didn't want to ever say out in public. My mom, my mom. Tomorrow's episode of Ninety Percentile is going to be pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. Open. Hypothetically. So hopefully, hypothetically. Um, but my mom, my mom doesn't listen. But my cousin does love Ninety Percentile, which is kind of odd. But I appreciate it. I'm, I don't have. I'm not very close with any of my relatives. I feel like it would be weird if they didn't listen to me here. Yeah. They all think I'm like a quiet well, owner. I, they have no idea that I, I have. I hope I have a sense of humor. And stuff. Pe- people at work. Um, I don't really ever talk about the podcast in my professional life. Yeah. Because I do, like, sort of have, like, a career, I guess. Yeah. I don't really like saying that. Um, Like, people know that I host Simpsons Trivia. That's kind of out there. And I think some people know there's something about a podcast, but they don't know too many specifics. A lot of people know about my podcast. They just don't bother listening because they say say they're not Simpsons fans, which then they're not. But I also think that, like, now I've also proven with the 90s percentile podcast that... uh, they just don't want to listen to podcasts. Although I do yes. have a handful of people at work that have gotten really into the show. Yeah. So, which is great because some of them have been guests and, now. And, 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 and I'm surprising to those listening to this who are friends with me in real life and were friends before the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, those of you who actually listen, which is not a big like I would say like one percent of the, my real friends actually like to, to listen to me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they like it, and thank you very much for their support, especially like. Uh, guys like Bryce, uh, Bryce has you know become a semi regular on the show. But mm-hmm. uh, the reason we even originally invited him was he was just really supportive of those first couple of months and uh, gave us some really good advice. Yeah, uh, I didn't the know plot Bryce. Recap was somewhat somewhat of his idea uh, and some other ideas maybe. Yeah, Bryce was. Uh, I didn't really know Bryce until he came on the, the show, and then uh, now I think we're best friends. So mm-hmm. thank you, Bryce. I saw uh, a question: What podcast do you listen to? What podcast I saw. Is? I saw that too. Um, so clearly, I'm a, good, a big comedy bang bang fan. I love Scott Ackerman. Um, Still, never listened to a single episode. Of I got, you're I, missing I, out. I'm a huge TV fan of the TV show. I'm a few episodes behind. I'm a few seasons behind on the TV show. But uh, definitely Comedy Bang Bang, You Talking You Two to Me is big. And I got you listening to You Talking You Two to uh, Me. I listen to every single episode. I'm obsessed. I, that's, I, the, that, that's, that's the only show that I've ever listened to an episode more than once. That show was... I had already uh, pitched the idea of 90th Percentile to you, and we, we came up with it together. Right. Um, before then, but that was the, like, like, let's expedite this and make this happen, listening to that show. I right. Like, they, they, I want to do what they do and just dick around. Well, yeah, pe- peeling the curtain back a little bit. Yeah. We wanted to do something, like, we were having so much fun doing we, but not the parts where we talk about The Simpsons. Yeah. Like, the bits and all the, like, wacky shit, and, and people were supportive in being, like, like, we definitely got tweets and things of, like, stop talking about The Simpsons, we just want to hear you guys talk. Yeah. Which was very nice and kind but, of surprising. But it would, it would only, we'd only have 12 listeners if we just did that. Right. So we kind of um, came up with uh, 90s Percentile as a hook to kind of have that open-ended format where we can just talk about whatever, and but there is kind of... people who have never heard of us to exactly. like, check us out. Exactly. Um, what else do I, I listen to? I listen to a ton of podcasts. The only re- I've actually been listening to less now because I got into Audible and I'm listening to audiobooks. That's a good question. Um, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I listen to a ton of podcasts. Fresh Air was my first, and it, and it's still one of the most consistent. It's one of the few that I've never uh, stopped listening to. Although sometimes I get backlogged, but I always catch up. I don't listen um, to any of the NPR podcasts. I love Fresh Air. I, yeah. I'm, I like NPR Politics podcast. Uh, it's a good to get a 
basic grip on what's going on uh, in right. the politics news. Not crazy about it. Yeah, uh, I, I listen. Love, I listen to a lot of Earwolf yeah, shows. Like I love how this get made. I love. Um, um, I love you talking to me. I love Bodega Boys. Uh, I think that they are a smarter, wittier, funnier versions of me and Dad. If me and Dad <laughs> had grew up like in the South Bronx as uh, people of color, uh, yeah. All, like if you translated all of that, which is a big translation. Some of the dynamics of remind me, like one of them's really good at voices, and I, 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 Jack, that is a backhanded compliment. I think. Are yeah. you saying I'm really good at voices? Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> you're definitely a better impressionist than I am. Um, so uh, <laughs> I can do. Um, I can do Harry at Home Alone. <laughs> uh, no, so I really like Bodega Boys. Um, I love Dan Carlin. I love Hardcore History. I, I have not gotten into Hardcore sense. History. Uh, I'm just starting. I haven't listened to it yet. Code Switch and um, this. What's the name of it? Uh, something Eliza at sixteen or something? It's a it's a sixteen year old. Girl. Wait, really? You listen to Eliza at sixteen? I haven't started it yet, but I'm very interested in so, checking it out. I like listening to good podcasts. Well, I'm I'll, hoping it's good from point of views that I can't relate to at all, so, so I can try to Eliza. Understand. I haven't listened to Eliza at sixteen, but it is uh, sort of a spin off podcast to one that I do listen to, which is Happier with Gretchen Rubin. She's an author. She wrote a book called The Happiness Project and other things, and that's her daughter. Okay. Um, so there's a good podcast. I just like... I, I like two women talking about happiness, which I do. You know, I always thought I was like the cool adult who got how kids work. Yeah, and not at all. that fizzled out by the time I was 25. Yeah. So I, I'm really interested to listen to it because I really want to understand like how... The, the kids make, today. Like what do they say? I don't know yeah. what they even sound like. I don't I don't hang out with them. Like, I, yeah, I have no I, idea. You know, the, the kids in my school are a little bit older. I have zero interaction with children. And just really quick, I just want to mention uh, this. One of my absolute favorite podcasts is the Slash Filmcast, which was definitely uh, a bit of an inspiration to this because I was like... Uh, you know, I love criticizing movies and things, and I was like, I could, we could kind of work it into a podcast somehow. Uh, but one of the greatest joys I've ever had as a podcast host was Alan Shurstel, I think that's how you say his last name, who interviewed us for The Village Voice. Before we even did that, he was a podcast, he was a fan of this podcast, and he may be even listening to this. Hey, Alan, be on the show. We would love to have you on, Alan. Um, but he was a guest on the Slash Filmcast, and I fucking love the Slash Filmcast. It was the podcast that got me into listening to podcasts. And he mentioned us on the Slash Filmcast, and That's I was cool. driving a car, and I almost, like, stopped short. You almost I was crashed like, holy and died. shit. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, Science Friday, I gotta give a shout-out to Sci Fry. Give a shout-out. Um, because I like to recap it. There you go. 60 Second Science. Uh, I also listen to Sam Harris. I disagree with a lot of his opinions, but he's very articulate, and we, I agree with him on a lot of things. I, and I really like getting other points of view. That's yeah. why I like Bodega Boys. I have no idea what it's like to live in the South Bronx, even though it's only like a few miles away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just it's very cool to just actually one one get more into people's one more podcast I just want to mention War Rocket Ajax, which is a comic book and pop culture podcast from uh, Chris Sims and Matt D. Wilson. They're both writers on Comics Alliance, and um, I definitely I love that show. I think they're both really great, and they put on a great podcast. But they were doing a thing called Every Story Ever, where they were ranking every comic book story ever that That's listeners awesome. submit. And it was definitely a big piece of inspiration to we, this podcast. We'll, we'll segue that to the question. Yes. I do want to give a shout out to also Harry Says Yes and Podcast of Terror. Yes. Um, who have been kind enough to let us soil their episodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I'm missing a bunch of podcasts. but I, 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 Yeah, there's a bunch of podcasts out there. Um, Harmontown I have been getting into. I'm working my way through the back catalog. I used to be a big Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me fan, but it just kind of got lost along the wayside. Right. Uh, same with Planet Money. I really like Planet Money, but I, I just right now I've put that on the, the back burner for all the other new podcasts. Yeah. It's just, it's so much. That's, again, thank, so much out thank there. you guys for listening to us because I realize yeah. that there's, there's a even million if, podcasts. Even, even if you yeah. like us, you, you, you might put us like 20th on your list and we'll just get, we'll disappear. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. So there was a question someone asked, like, how did we, why did we start the podcast? I yeah. think that's what it was. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I was listening to a ton of podcasts and it was kind of, you and I had been talking about like doing something I at one pitched, point. I, I pitched this, uh, creating either an app or Raspberry Pi had just come out, and I was like, let's build you something were like, we simple should... that will just make us billionaires overnight. Right. Like, there's, there's got to be an idea where, <laughs> like, I was like, you're good at marketing, which you're not. I don't know why I thought <laughs> I don't that. know why you thought that. I was either. like, I'm creative. Jeff is good with tech. Yeah. Let's the three of us come up with some kind of thing that you'll just sell on like a full house where they sell the, the right, right. How, do, how do we get rich quick? how do we get rich quick and, we and I said I have a better idea let's start a podcast because it would be a lot easier in, in theory yeah I mean I had the idea like what, what I don't even remember exactly how I thought of it but I had this idea like worst episode ever is kind of this thing that worked its way into the cultural lexicon from the Simpsons 
and now there are so many bad episodes. I wonder which one is the worst episode ever. And I was like, there should be a podcast. And you didn't even watch Post Classic at all. No, not really. I had given up on you were, newer Simpsons. If you read back and re-listen to the first few episodes, you were a total stranger to the yeah. what the hell was going on. And I thought um, it would it would be a great podcast to actually watch and rank the the Post Classic Simpsons episodes and try to figure out which one is the worst episode ever. And I just, it, it was an idea that like I couldn't get out of my head. And I was like, why don't I, I should just I do this. Do and there was and only I, one or two Simpsons podcasts out at that point. And, I mean, yeah. Maybe no, actually, no, actually, there, were, there when weren't we, any when, when, when we, we, we were first talking about it. We were brainstorming. Yeah. There was nothing. So I came to you because you were the, A, a big Simpsons fan and someone I knew I could have a, a long conversation about this stuff with. And B, you were someone I knew who would have access to equipment <laughs> to actually record the podcast, Thanks. which you did. Uh, and yeah, that's kind and of I just took to it started. right away. I was like, "Yes, let's do it." But uh, which is ironic if you know because I really do hate putting things into lists. I think it's right. pointless and stupid. <laughs> so well, you know, it's yeah. I mean, it is what it is. That's but... why I, I, I really try to drive this point home as much as I can. But I don't think people, especially people who don't listen to the show, don't get. It's like we don't yeah. take it that serious. It's, this is just they're placeholders. They're just we're we're generalizing. Obviously, it's impossible to say what's better than what something else. Right. It is it is really all very subjective, but exactly. uh, we we do what we can. And yeah, uh, the podcast like I didn't I didn't really have high expectations for it and then we kind of it it, it took off relatively quickly. Like I think it was episode 9 like we were on the iTunes new yeah. and noteworthy and we started to get a Lady lot Goes of Gaga. Downloads. Lady Goes Gaga did very well. Lisa, for us. Lisa Goes Gaga. Lisa Goes Gaga. Lady yeah. Goes Gaga. Actually and our our most downloaded episode I'll, I'll tell you guys is episode 10, the Skinner which I, is one of my Skinner least, Labyrinth. I think it, I haven't re-listened. I think is one of my I always remember it being kind of a bland recording. Yeah, it's it's just being overtaken by our first episode which makes a lot of sense. Uh, and but, then, but then uh, the AV club put us in Podmas so that gave us a big boost. That was great too. That was the bonfire um, of the episode. And then I said it was great on Canadian radio and yep. that helped a little <laughs> with the Neo Nazi crowd. It certainly did. Um, no, there was a good. Let's uh, let's do uh, let's peel back this because we're talking about ourselves like a couple of narcissists. There was yeah. one question they want to know a little sausage making. Uh, what happens when two of our episodes tie in the rankings? How do we? Because we never ever mention a tie on the air. No, we don't. Because we, we we will break the tie off air. I don't want to surprise you guys, but Jack heavily cuts the episodes together, and thank <laughs> God because some of them are terrible. <laughs> you basically we will either go with our gut, and then to justify our gut, maybe we'll like I always say I'll give it a three or a three point five. I'm not sure. Sometimes I will change. Right. It. Sometimes we do fudge the numbers within and kind like of change. within that like sixty seconds of doing the math. We, yeah. We have you, never changed the numbers after the the fact. Like if you hear us say, "Oh, I could do three or three point five there is like a minute that gets edited out of the episode and the deleted scenes where, where we, we actually do that and look at what the I numbers are. I think some are. episodes are still ties in the final rankings and we just go with our gut and go this one's better or if we have yeah. a guest we let the guest pick. Yeah. Uh, guess sometimes. guess we don't take their numbers into consideration. They affect uh, our rankings basically. If I'm right. saying 3, they might convince me to give it a 3.5 or a 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they affect it that way and sometimes they will be the tiebreakers. Yeah. The scores are final though. Once once Dan comes back and says, uh, as, come, comes back in and says, so we crunched our numbers. That's it. We're, they're they're locked in. We yeah. never change them. And then we, we we do not change them after that. We're too lazy to be honest. <laughs> Niall said, "Is there um is there anything you don't like about doing the podcast?" That's a, that's kind of a big question. It is a lot of work. I mean, we we both work full time jobs, uh, nine to five during the week, more than nine to five, a little bit. Um, the editing is grueling and I if I'm in the mood for it I like it I like to edit it's one of my favorite parts of filmmaking yeah. uh, and there is some I, I get a kick out of building something like I you know I like where should I make this cut where should I do that I do enjoy that but usually I'm not doing it when I'm in the mood usually I'm doing it because we have to get it out on time and then it's work right. I don't like that Dan doesn't do that but Dan does have to come over and record and these recording sessions as much fun as they are in the moment it, uh, it's exhausting. Well, it's like when we're done in a few minutes, we will be tired. It's, it's physically It's 4.20 exhausting. right now. I've been here since 11, so that's yeah. five and a half it hours. It just almost. takes the wind We've just us. been recording nonstop the yeah. entire time. So um, that much. It's draining. I don't I don't mind watching bad episodes and talking about them usually. No. It's, just, it's, it's just the work. It's just the fact that we're doing something. Right, it's 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 a fun job, but it's still a yeah. job. I like, I love to write. I'm a writer, and I I also hate to write. I, I it's, it's, <laughs> the you know, classic writer. It's work. It's 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 just it's work. It's work, and it's fun. I, you know, yeah. it's the kind of work that I would rather be doing than coal mining. That's for sure. Sure, but it's still it's energy. It's expending energy. Yeah, that's it though. I really do enjoy. We we've done. We're doing two weekly podcasts, and we just did 85 weeks practically straight. Yeah. We wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't it's, really it's, fun. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll take one more question. i got to get the hell out yeah, of here. Yeah, well, maybe My two. My wife's going to be very mad. Maybe two. 
We'll take one or two more questions. So what do you guys got? Tell me what they are. Are you guys fans of Life in Hell? I've read a little bit of Life in Hell. Um, I would, I, I'm not not a fan, but I, I guess I haven't read enough to really weigh in. Like I, I remember back when I was in high school or maybe even earlier, I took out a bunch of the, the like School is Hell, Love yeah. is Hell volumes out of the library. I've never read it. I know nothing of it besides what I read in the Ortved uh, oral history. Yeah. Um, Which I, I have not I've read. I've read a couple of Simpsons comics, but I've never really read those. Yeah. I used to read a lot of the Simpsons comics. They were actually pretty good. Um, um, let's see. Uh, how would you end the Simpsons? We've talked about. We've, on the we've show talked before. about that. So, I, we think yeah. it should end with the Christmas episode full loop. Yeah. Uh, give us one more. And for everybody whose questions we already missed and uh, and we won't have time for, maybe we'll do two or three more of these throughout the summer. Yeah, we could do some of these. This, this is easy. What other show would you like the Simpsons to cross over with? That's a good question. What have they done? Futurama, sort of. They've family done Futurama. Guy. They've done Family Guy. I haven't seen either of those, and we haven't done them yet, but we're going to. We gotta save um, some of the good stuff for the, the yeah for, season, for season two. Um, um, so what else have they done? They've done Bob's X-Files. Burgers, I think, is the spiritual successor to Simpsons. I think maybe I think that. Bob's Burgers is, is probably my answer also. They did a crossover with Archer that was very funny, Bob's Burgers. Yes, that was good. I like that a lot. I would totally watch a second Simpsons movie. Somebody also asked earlier uh, if we think there will be one. I definitely think there will be a second Simpsons movie after the show ends its run. Let's just combine a bunch of questions. Somebody also asked when we think it's going to run. I wouldn't be surprised if it's at season 30. I wouldn't be surprised if they go two or four more seasons. I think there's that. no question it's going to season 30. That's definite. Oh, although I guess they're locked into t- season 28. They, yeah. I think they're locked in through 28, season but they 30, will definitely do 30. They'll do season 30. you got to get that round number. Harry Shearer's going to put so up a fucking stink, but they'll, they'll make it happen. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to 32, 34. The Rick and Morty Simpsons crossover someone mentioned was good, but it was just a couch gag. And Jack, you gotta watch the Rick I know, and Morty. I know, I know, I know. I'm a big you Dan. do it over the summer. I, I, I'm, not only, I'm a huge Dan Harmon fan, and I keep finding out things I liked in like the early 90s he had his he had, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, he's Dan, been around Dan Harmon is fucking awesome I, he's my dream guest to get on this show oh that would be amazing I would love to be uh, there's Harman. only seven of you here right now but uh, if you can <laughs> if you know Dan Harmon just fucking tweet at him right now just say hey at Dan Harmon can you please whatever his Twitter is uh, I think you should be on this podcast let's be at Dan Harmon Please be on this podcast. Uh, I could do this all day guys but we're very tired and it's very hot in here we had to turn the air off yeah guys um, I'm going home so that's it. I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> Jack already is home. Uh, uh, have a good summer, guys. We, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll do another one of these. We'll, um, we'll probably do another one of these. We might do some more one-off type things. We'll be in Reddit. We'll be in the Reddit. <coughs> and 90s percentile is still around. So and we'll be tweeting. Yeah. I like tweeting freaky act things. Yes. It's a lot of fun. That's usually the only time I use my Twitter. Yeah. And then maybe I'll reply to one of you guys that Dan had already replied to, but my Twitter app doesn't, <laughs> quite, doesn't show it, and I can't tell. Yes. And it's just like a really weird, awkward... Yeah, we both Double use the comment. Twitter, so t- sometimes, yeah, that happens. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for the hearts. Enjoy your summer. I heart you guys. We, we love hearts. And we love farts. And now we're going to have the awkward minute where I reach over for the phone <laughs> and turn it off. Classic, classic week. Uh, Thanks, guys. Uh, uh.